Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for GWBC Radio's Open for Business. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, uh, another episode of GWBC Open for Business, but this is a special one because we're broadcasting live from the 2022 WeBank National Conference, and we're in the GWBC booth 1812 if you are want to come by and check us out. Uh, right now on the show, we have Nino Campus, and he's with Ronstad. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, for the two people out there who don't know, tell us a little bit, kind of the elevator pitch for Ronstad. I know you guys are serving people all over the world. All over the world, globally. So we are the leading uh, in the top 50 in Diversity, Inc. as the top uh, staffing company in the world right now, diversifying the world as well. Mm-hmm. So this is a perfect conference for you to be at. Uh, talk about your involvement as a corporate partner. Why was it important for you to kind of lean in and, and uh, immerse yourself in the WeBank world? Yeah, so I've been in this industry for the past uh, 13, 13 plus years, uh, serving the de- supplier diversity, the diversity, diversity inclusion world. Uh, very important being a part of the GWBC is that they are not only the, the, the leading organization here in Georgia, but... One of the ones that are very, uh, where the rubber meets the floor, the rubber meets the street, right? And really advocating for the women businesses, business entrepreneurs out there, uh, and making us work, making us think, making us be creative, making us go out there and serve the right way as well. So now, any advice for a small business that wants to do business with Ronstadt? What do they have to do to, to be ready for you to say, okay, this might be a good partner for us? Well... It used to be a difficult, that's a difficult question usually. Usually there's a, a gauntlet of things for a small, diverse business or a woman-owned business uh, to get uh, an opportunity, right? What they call a Fortune 500 business, get those opportunities, get that million-dollar uh, revenue. And, and so Ronstad, in leading in best-in-class in providing opportunities, has uh, opened the doors in digitizing their uh, supply chain, so offering opportunities to all incomers, meaning these women businesses who have an idea or have the opportunity or services that they could provide large business business like Ronstad uh, to come in and develop a digital portfolio for themselves. Uh, in doing so, getting mentored and developed on working with big, big large companies, not just ourselves, but with our client base as well. So then it's that simple. They go to a website portal, and then they can sign up and put their information, and then they're kind of have oh, a chance? Yeah. Believe it or not, it is that easy. It is going to our register on our external website, uh, enter your business name, see if you're already there. If you're not, you will meet supplier diversity immediately. There is no black hole or lag time. Uh, it is quite quick. It's immediately. You'll start developing a digital portfolio at no cost and have a live consultant, someone on my team, that will start to build out your portfolio to be able to network, if not mentor you, for opportunities. So that's game-changing because one account for a small business that could change the whole trajectory of their business. Oh, of course, because now we don't have to uh, network or market these suppliers through a uh, to a line of business or even a buyer or procurement. We're going to the exec- executive C-suites to introduce these suppliers for an immediate decision, find those opportunities immediately. So if there's other kind of enterprise-level companies that want to streamline their process and create this kind of elegant solution that you have, uh, are you talking to them as well? Because I would imagine this is almost a competitive advantage for you. Yeah, there's really no one that I know of yet that is doing what we're doing. We are digitizing a complete diverse supply chain. So that means every diverse supplier that's certified, actively certified in doing successful work has a digital portfolio. That digital portfolio, that information is on 340 plus databases to be located. Oh, so it's not just Ronstadt? Not just Ronstadt. We're not, when we say socioeconomic growth, we don't mean only Ronstadt. We mean for the, for the world. Uh-huh. And then, so how do the enterprise level companies get involved and get their kind of information in part of this portal? So they would hopefully are with the right third party solution uh, that is uh, accurately scrubbing their data. Right. And those, those, those suppliers or the supplier that we utilize would be able to provide them that access to that database. Okay. So then you're all kind of in it together and you're all sharing the information that so when a, a, uh, like one of the WeBank folks or the GWBC folks puts their name in the portal, it's giving them access to Ronstadt, but also several hundred other 
um, Correct. companies that kind of believe what you believe in that this is important. Yeah. So what we're doing with these digital portfolios, let me give you a picture of it. Historically, what we would do would give somebody an opportunity would be they've come to us and say, I have something in IT. Right. Uh, and so you have a buyer, you have lines of businesses right. and, and you have to like sell. And it's like on a one-on-one and it's a one-off right. kind of thing. Right. And you have those RFPs and you have multiple suppliers. Right. Those preferred suppliers are on that RFP, sure. right? Want that business, continue business. How do you how do you introduce a new business to that? How can you provide credibility, uh, accessibility, uh, you know, all those things that would make it easy to make a decision. So this digital portfolio is a relationship building too, meaning that you put their capability statements in here. You put their NICS codes. You put you upload their certificates, their active certificates. They've been validated immediately through a third-party solution to, to certify that they are certified, right. right? And they can actually put their video. They can actually put their photos. It actually gives you a demographic of who they are ethnically, uh, gender-wise. And so it's an it's a enhanced way of doing an interview, per se, right, a presentation. Sure. So here and you it's are. so much more efficient. They don't have to do this 300 times. They do it one time, and it's going out to 300 people. It's a URL. Right. Yeah. So when I'm so I man I directly report to the chief diversity officer of Ronstad. Mm-hmm. Now she's the global equity officer of mm-hmm. Ronstad. The first uh, of her, she now only expects a URL, right? <laughs> and so that URL provides a visibility to her best suppliers that are out right. there. And then this makes it easy for the Ronstads of the world to say, okay, who do we need? And and we can say, okay. We want to uh, attract more Hispanic-owned businesses so we can kind of target that, right? You can get as granular as you want to get because it's digital. Yeah, it's also instant governance or what we call scorekeeping. Right. It, it, there's an opportunity to score there. Uh, actually, So it's notes. almost a dashboard too, right, where you can see everything and see where you're at, where you need, hey, maybe we should put a little more emphasis over here and less over here. That is correct, and it's also able to provide us visibility on to how much spending we had with them already, wow. priorly. So we have a good visibility of what we have. And so the score scorekeeping that we do is non-corrective criticism, meaning that we only add in success and achievements to it. Now, if there isn't any, that means or they have dropped expenditure <laughs> right. that we see. Because trends are trends, right? We go back and mentor them. We don't just drop them. Right. We go back and mentor them and find out what has happened on the client side or, or internally, and then mentor them. And we have now, developing right now, we're creating a mentorship development certifying uh, program that will certify three curriculums of, of phases for the supplier. So those top-tier ones won't get something they already have known for years. Right, but then it, these newer, these emerging brands get an opportunity to learn and grow. Correct. And then, you know, everybody wins again when when all the people are working together like this. It's amazing. Uh, congratulations on this. This is a big initiative. Oh, thank you. We would, I want to let, you know, level the playing field a little bit. I want that everyone to understand that we are inclusive of all. Mm-hmm. Everybody has a thumbprint, right? Everybody has a niche service. Let's not call it an umbrella of things that you do, but what do you do best and how can you do it right, best for us? Right, what's your superpower and how can we kind of match you up with the right person on our team so we can kind of every, create this win-win? Yeah, because we don't have the time to play. We don't have time for RFP these days, right? right. When someone says a new normal to me, I think like, well, then we got to take yeah. away this RFP process and just put the right person in place, right? right. And so we're in talent management. we got to put the best talent in place. Right, and it, and it removes a lot of bias, and it removes a lot of kind of that um, I know a guy kind of situation. Exactly. And start removing the tiering, right? Mm-hmm. If you remove the tiering and you put in the best possible uh, – service or individual you're going to have success right and you get that win-win outcome that everybody's looking for well if somebody wants to learn more about this process what's the coordinates should they just go to the ronstad website and they can kind of find it from there yeah it's very easy ronstad.com supplier diversity and send and, and there is a registration there for you to just register your name and you immediately will uh, be entered into creating a digital portfolio well, thank you so much for sharing your story. You're doing important work, and we appreciate you. Uh, thank you very much for having me. All right, this is Lee Cantor broadcasting live from WeBank National Conference in the GWBC booth. <laughs>